Okay, so here the trailer is again. We watched it together the other day. We'll just, we're just gonna take a look at it. This looks pretty normal. Well, I don't know what this shopping cart is. I don't know what that is. This is the Mario Trail. I have no idea what this is. This may be like who you pick to play with, like Mario or Luigi or something. This looks like a checkpoint. Here's how you different themes, and I don't know who this guy is, but I don't create a lot either. So then you have the finger. The finger that comes up, which means you can do it without a touch screen, right? Sound effects button? Yeah, that's... Oh, you're, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. So then you have normal normal enemies. We've all seen these guys. This this is a... Uh, I don't know. This must be a 10 coin thing, but it's worth 10. These look like all normal enemies. Those are SMW enemies, so... Nothing really different there. Here we have the coins. The 10 coin, the red coin. I wonder what you... There might be a, like a thing that you can do with coins in this game. Maybe like a different sort of game mode or different way to work it. So you can have different slopes. You can have a steep slope or a not so steep slope. This looks like an invisible block, which I hate. So that's nice. And then uh, you have the switches, the on off switches, which is cool. That's the treadmill. Okay. So nothing too crazy just yet. Okay. So we have these, uh, the wind gust with some wind gust dudes. Looks like it blows you up. Here we got new background with the angry sun from SMB3. So he can kill you. And a huge, this platform is way bigger. So you must be able to make these way longer now. Which is interesting. I wonder if you can make them really short. Like a one block platform that you gotta ride on. And you got a leaf coming in for them. And here we got some of the 3D land You're stuff. With us, Peter. Okay, so you can do like the snake and you can figure out which way you wanna put it. I still don't know what this shopping cart is. I still don't know what that is. Uh, this is a snow theme, which is cool. And then you have snow slopes. I like the theme here. It's really cool. It looks like Wisconsin. So then you can ride this snake. That reminds me of Battletoads, but obviously it was in Mario as well. That could be very... In that can make for some really long auto scroll levels. Here looks like... I don't know if you can place water wherever you want or it's if, if it's just a stage. But it's a half water, half land type of stage. Which is cool. Because then hopefully we can eliminate people making crappy water levels and just have... Crappy in between levels. <laughs> Troll levels. And then these switches. Now these switches are huge in the com in the Kaizo community. There's a lot of Kaizo stuff that people do with these for like ROM hacks and stuff. So like like for example, you could throw a shell and it could hit the switch and it could turn it on and off, on and off, and you might just have to like bounce on the shell to stop it from going off like over and over and over and over until something happens something like that but those are huge in the rom hack kaizo community those switches so that'll make for some crazy kaizo stuff here you can control i don't know why there's 50 coins here like what does that have to do do you only get a checkpoint if you reach 50 coins or 50 coins in the level i don't know but here you can tr control the scroll of the airship so instead of the airship going up down up down up down you can go up down so you can control like the angle and how long it goes up, which will be nice. Sometimes you can't see the ground. I don't know what this feather is either. Okay, here we got more stuff. Question block. I don't know if these are invisible blocks here or if they're just gray blocks. This looks like a donut down here. So I'm not sure. There's a, this is a cat suit right there. They didn't show any any uh new soups they only showed 3d world so we didn't see like a, a propeller hat or anything like that i don't know what this guy is he looks like a spiky spiky enemy and then here are the clear pipes the clear pipes are really cool because they don't go to another area like another sub world they stay in the same area which they show in a little bit so you can kind of do some cool levels that warp you everywhere which are which are neat here are some enemies this is a spiky fish here's that ant trooper and I don't know who this guy is, and I don't know who this guy is either. And this is a hornet, looks like. Hold on, I can't really see. This is a mouse. I'm not sure who these two are, but they're from 3D World, I'm pretty sure. I just don't remember. I haven't played that game for such a long time. Just some random enemies, though. 
And then, oh yeah, they have the longer vine, so you can control that, which we'll see in a second. You can control its path. So here we have, like, the ant trooper. And then here's... Here's, like, a, that spring thing. I don't know what that does. It's like a spring enemy. It's weird. But yeah, you can see how big... And then that reaches for you. And then you can hide what looks to be, like, power-ups. I don't know if you can hide any power-up or, like, maybe an enemy. You control your, your player, with, make them search trees, which scares me. And here we have the different blocks, so those must not be invisible. So they are again. There they are down there. And then here we have the cat suit you can climb. Dude, it's going to be crazy if there's going to be cat suit Kaizo levels. That's going to get nuts. And then here we have that vine we were looking at a second ago that stretches out in the pattern that you want it to stretch out in. And then here's these blocks. I kind of remember these a little bit. So they, they can form... Depending on how many times you hit them, they form in different directions, I'm guessing. I can see that being really trolly. Like, what if you hit it too many times and it blocks a path? I can see that being a super big troll thing. Alright, so here's the uh, clear pipes. And as you can see, the fireball... Look at this. That guy looks weird for, for some reason with those wings, but I think he looks... That must just be how he looks in 3D world. So here you can see Mario throws a fireball in... And it goes in and around and out, and it's going to hit this blooper, which is insane. So you can throw fireballs in there, and you can also go in there and travel. I like the background. The sunken shimp is cool. And then here, these are going to be real trolly, I bet. There's a lot of trolly things. This looks like a treadmill. I don't know if it is or not. These are climbable with the cat suit. And then these things come out at you, like, like in your face. And if they hit you, obviously, they hit you. So you can probably place those wherever you want, the bullet bills. So it's a background enemy that emerges, which is insane. And you'll see Mario climb there. You can have these longer teeter-totters now. I mean, we didn't have teeter-totters before. Here's a vertical level. You can tell Mario's not only jumping up, but the screen is scrolling up. So it is a vertical level. And also, this guy came out of this red pipe here. And he's got a little parachute on. So that's old school. That's SMW. Which is interesting. See, there another one came out and then has the parachute. Now, here's what's really cool. Check it out. Red Yoshi. So, this means that there's different colored Yoshis. Because this Yoshi is spitting fire as well as the clown car. And back in the day, the red Yoshi would spit fire. The blue one, if you eat his shell, it would grow wings and he would fly. And a, the yellow one would do like a, like a stop or something. And there might have been a purple one. I can't remember. I haven't played... SMW for quite a while, but they had all the different Yoshis. So, those will grant you different powers and stuff. So, you see how he's spitting too, the Yoshi? The Yoshi is also spitting with the clown cock. And here we go. Is this boss pass down here? I didn't notice this before. This guy right there. Is that boss pass? No, that's like some crazy enemy. I don't know who that is. This is a guy from SMB3, the mini boss. But he looks just like a standard little boss here in 3D World. And he does like the spin. And that didn't kill him. So you must have to hit him a bunch of times. Huge bullet bill. And that comes out in June. I want to see one more thing. Alright, so look. Wait, hold on. Those must just be fish... See Yoshi spit, spit in the fire there too? These must just be... Oh, those are the spiky fish. I don't know what that is though. That looked a little bit different than that spiky fish. And now on their website, they also show... The Koopa driving a car. Let me bring that up really quick. Check this stuff out. Look at this. You have this guy in like a tornado. Can I just view this background image? Yeah. Okay, cool. So... You got this Koopa right here driving this car. Okay. We got the Thwomp going sideways. Because you can tell it's smushing the fire flower. So that's going sideways, which is crazy. I don't know if this guy spit this out or not. Here's Toad or Toadette. I think it's Toad in a cat suit. 
I heard he had a Hammer Bro suit somewhere. I don't know where that would be. But you got a Koopa in a car, which is ridiculous. This guy's in a tornado. You got Mario and Luigi, so they're both playable. Oh, here. Toad in the Hammer Bro suit. So that's nuts. And then as you can see, the enemies can also go through the pipes. It looks like you can drop down anything you want with the parachute. So that's pretty much that. He's shellless too. Oh, also one other thing that we didn't discuss is when we watch the trailer, Mario doesn't have his hat on sometimes, which is very different. And then these things, I don't know what these things are exactly. I think those like flip back and forth. He doesn't have a shell. That's interesting. Yeah, though, so that's pretty much the full breakdown analysis on the trailer and the picture. I don't think I missed anything. Did, I, did you guys see anything that I missed? Let me know. Right there. He doesn't have a hat. You see that? He doesn't have a hat on. He doesn't have a hat on there either, which is weird. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that I saw. Good night, Rando. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Appreciate that. You wonder if Baby Yoshi's maybe. Maybe.